Hello, and welcome all to another Neon Cab video. I'm Harry, and I'm glad you're here with me. If you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing, and welcome. Today we are taking a look at the entire 2023 lineup for Loki Expedition, including truck campers and full expedition vehicles. Loki Expedition, located in Quebec, Canada, is a lifestyle brand maker of turnkey expedition vehicles designed to take you to the farthest reaches of the globe and back again. While a one-time provider of bespoke shipping crate solutions for large companies, COVID forced them to rethink their priorities. Expedition vehicles are now their main form of revenue, and it doesn't look to be slowing down anytime soon. The order I'm going in is their cheapest offering, to the most eye-wateringly expensive ones. The Loki Falcon 8 is a four-season, slide-in truck camper with unique styling and loads of creature comforts. The Falcon 8 is the only camper in Loki's lineup that is not a turnkey solution. You bring your own truck for this one. The Falcon 8 has an extremely unique profile, I think it looks amazing. Everything about the Falcon 8 is customizable, from the exterior to the interior, so remember as I go through this unique camper, if you see something that doesn't work as you'd like, they can change it. The most standout feature of this camper is the rear hatch, which raises 90 degrees, providing an incredible window to the world outside. The hatch has a rollable mosquito net for bug-free scenic view, and the hatch has a normal door should you not want to open the hatch fully. The other striking exterior feature is the well-built-out roof rack system, which customers can kit out for a rooftop deck, solar panels, additional storage, etc. Lastly, there are two incredible deep rear storage drawers that are 2 feet wide and 5 feet deep. The coolest thing, is there is a trap door inside the unit for access. Very well thought out. Upon entering, you first encounter the mudroom which doubles as a shower, with a storable system you only need to attach when needed. There is also storage for a porter potty. A large bench occupies the right side of the camper which can double as a second bed. There is a flexible lagoon table which has several attachment points throughout the camper. The kitchen has a lot of storage above and below the countertop, which houses the sink as well as a portable induction cooktop. The cab of a bed has windows all around it as well as a roof-accessible skylight. The camper has a heating unit as well as a 12-volt air conditioning system. I'll include full stats on the screen here. Pricing for the Loki Falcon 8 starts at 135k and does not include a vehicle. The differences between the Icarus 6 and 8 is simply a bit more room in the rear of the camper for the 8, as it fits in an 8-foot bed rather than a 6. The Loki Icarus has an interesting shape as well as stunning color schemes based on a flat black or gray shell with a variety of paint options for the accents, ladders, and tubular structures surrounding it. I think my favorite is the electric blue and black. That color branding as you will see extends to the interior of the vehicle as well, which is unique and quite bold if I do say so. The roof rack and bed utility systems provide plenty of storage for gear, kayaks, rooftop tents, etc., as well as up to 300 watts of solar panel capacity. The roof rack also has a 360-degree LED lighting system to illuminate your chosen campground. You enter the camper through two large double doors, packed with storage that swing open wide. There is a stowable interior shower here in the rear area, which also serves as a sort of mudroom, as well as a built-in air compressor and porta potty. There is a large bench seat to the right that doubles as an additional sleeping space, with a flexible lagoon table. The kitchen area has multiple storage cabinets, a 12-volt fridge freezer, and mobile induction cooktop. The bed in the rear expands into a 54 by 75 inch bed. Awning style windows with built-in bug screen and blackout shades surround the camper, offering unobstructed views to whatever remote span of outdoors you decide to stay at. The camper is controlled with a red arc system to manage lights, fresh and grey water levels, with a mobile app to control things as well. LED lights abound within and you can easily check your diesel levels for the heating unit. A 12-volt air conditioning unit is also included. I'll include full stats on the screen here. Pricing for the Icarus series starts at 200k which again gets you the camper, flatbed and storage system conversion, and the truck of your choice from a Ford F-Series, Ram truck, GMC Sierra, or Chevy Silverado. The Falcon X is an all-in-one expedition vehicle built on the Ford F550 or Ram 5500 chassis, built as a sort of older brother to the Icarus 6 and 8. 
there is more room, more capacity, more comfort, and well, more dollar signs attached to it. The profile is a more traditional truck expedition similar to what we've seen from Earthroamer. It's boxy, but that just provides the maximum amount of interior room. A theme of this build as well as the Discovery series we will look at in a moment is they're less innovative, maybe a bit safer than what we've seen before, but no less impressive because of it. The exterior houses a retractable canopy. The rear has the spare tire and a large cargo box. The roof can house up to 1500 watts of solar panels. There is underbelly storage as well, so no matter what type of gear you bring, you can reliably stow it here. Stepping inside the Falcon X, to your immediate right is the large sleeping area with windows on all three sides as well as some additional storage. Turning around completely there is an enclosed wet bath to the right. To the left is the kitchen equipped with a sink, induction cooktop and a microwave. To the rear is a giant C-shaped couch with a central table for family get-togethers, eating, playing games, and more. You can push the table down and create another large bed as well. There are large rectangular windows flanking the sides and back of this seating area, allowing plenty of light through at the perfect size for sightseeing. There are also large cabinets along the ceiling for maximum storage potential in this unit. Pricing for the Icarus series starts at 580k which again gets you the camper, and a Ford F550 or Ram 5500. I'll include full stats on the screen here as well as links to all models in the description below. The Discovery series is Loki's creme de la creme of expedition craftsmanship. They don't even call these rigs, or campers, but instead use the term, habitat. They offer a fully turnkey solution, truck included, or can work with you to convert an existing vehicle to the Discovery series. It's all about the box on the back, in which thinking back to Loki's roots, is probably where they are at their most comfortable and competent. These Four Seasons Expedition vehicles are designed to allow one to travel remotely anywhere in the world in safety and comfort. The exterior is pretty much a large rectangular box, not dissimilar to a shipping crate. One of the coolest things about the Discovery is upon entering, you step into a mudroom, the benefits are no matter the weather, you can hand your wet, muddy, snow-laden clothes and not bring them into the living areas. The shower is also here in case you needed to rinse anything off. On the opposite side is the toilet. Entering the rear on the left side is the kitchen with a deep sink, fridge freezer, and a stove. On the other side is plenty of cabinet and storage space. Returning to the front of the camper is a large bed which also provides access to the cab. What did you think of the Loki Expedition lineup? Let me know in the comments below. If you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing, it's greatly appreciated. Once again thank you for spending some time with me here on Neon Cab. I'm Harry. Catch you on the next one.